Ever wondered what happens when monkeys become bold enough to shoplift? Welcome to the monkey metropolis of Thailand, a place where primates have taken pilfering to a whole new level. These audacious animals, especially the macaque species, have been causing quite a stir with their antics. The monkeys are not just bold, they're becoming increasingly aggressive. Imagine this. You're strolling through a Thai supermarket when suddenly a monkey swoops down, snatches your shopping, and disappears in a blur of fur. That's right, we're talking about hit-and-run thefts, monkey style. But the monkey mischief doesn't stop there. They've also been known to raid supermarkets, causing chaos and leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. And if that weren't enough, these primates have even been spotted engaging in street brawls, turning peaceful lanes into battlegrounds. It's clear that the monkeys of Thailand are not just monkeying around, they're running the show. So next time you're in a Thai supermarket, remember to guard your bananas. What do you think monkeys did during lockdowns? Well, they thrived. Imagine a town without the hustle and bustle of tourists, where the usual cacophony of human chatter is replaced by the playful chatter of monkeys. That's been the reality in Thailand's Koh Phi Phi Island and the city of Lopburi. The macaque monkeys, usually accustomed to the constant presence of humans, found themselves in an unusual situation during the lockdowns. The streets were empty, the tourists were gone, and the monkeys had the run of the town. And boy, did they make the most of it. The absence of tourists who often feed and interact with the monkeys left the macaques to their own devices. They took over the streets, the parks, and even the supermarkets. They played, they fought, and they caused a bit of monkey mayhem. But more than anything, they thrived. They grew bolder, more confident, and a little more audacious every day. While the rest of the world was learning to bake bread and attending Zoom meetings, the monkeys were having the time of their life. The usual restrictions and boundaries imposed by human activity were lifted, and the monkeys took full advantage. They reveled in their newfound freedom and made the town their playground. Lockdowns have been hard on us, but for the monkeys it's been a party. When life gives you monkeys, what do you do? Thailand has some answers. In the face of monkey mayhem, the Thai government has rolled up its sleeves and taken an innovative approach to manage the monkey population. It's not just about controlling numbers, but creating a balanced ecosystem where humans and monkeys can coexist peacefully. Sanctuaries have been established, providing a haven for these macaques where they can live and play without disturbing the local populace or raiding their supermarkets. But what about the monkey population explosion? Enter the sterilization programs. By controlling the birth rate, the government aims to keep the monkey numbers in check ensuring the cities aren't overrun by our furry friends. Habitat relocation is another key strategy. By moving these monkeys to areas where they can thrive without causing disruption, we're trying to give them, and us, the best of both worlds. And then there's public education, because let's face it, we humans have a role to play too. We're learning how to live with these creatures, understanding their behavior and respecting their space. With these measures in place, we hope the only monkeys we'll see in supermarkets are on cereal boxes. So, fancy a trip to Thailand, don't forget your monkey repellent. Now, we all know that travel is about new experiences, and Thailand sure does offer an experience like no other, a game of tag with macaque monkeys. Just imagine, one moment you're enjoying a lovely stroll in the market, the next you're in a high-speed chase with a monkey that's got your favorite hat. But it's not all monkey business. The Thai government is taking strides to handle this monkey menace, from creating sanctuaries to sterilization programs. It's a unique problem that calls for unique solutions. And while these measures might not make your trip monkey-free, they sure will make it safer. So pack your bags and maybe a banana or two for your Thai adventure. Just remember, a little monkey mayhem never hurt anyone. But if you find yourself missing a hat or a pair of sunglasses, well, you know who to blame. And remember, folks, in Thailand, it's not just the humans you need to watch out for. Keep an eye out for those cheeky monkeys.